Hey guys, want to take a few minutes today to talk about my why, why I'm doing this, why I'm starting a, a YouTube channel. And what it really comes down to is my want to give back to help my friends, colleagues, or hopefully somebody I never even met, meet or have met move forward in some area of their life. You know, I, I speak about what I, the little things I think I know a little bit about, and I'm still learning and growing, and I hope you somebody out there anyways can use what I've done or my mistakes to avoid them or to use some models that I've used for success and use them for their own success. In recent, probably the last year or so, I've gotten a lot of people that reach out to me now for this type of advice, right? Friends, relatives, coworkers, colleagues, acquaintances, all are starting to kind of see that I'm having a little bit of success, right? So they've started to reach out to me about different things of financial literacy, real estate investing, how do I get started, how do I evaluate a property, et cetera, et cetera. Or what do you look for, Nate? So my thought is that if I put all this down into clip form, I could then refer them to a, a video and not have to repeat conversations and just have this out there so somebody somewhere can look at this for free one day and, and get something out of it with all, that's my hope, right? You know, I, I think, you know, there's from a human nature standpoint, giving somebody a present without ever expecting something in return is one of the highest gratifications we can get. You know, if you think about doing something for somebody and not expecting anything in return, you feel pretty good about that. And that's hopefully what I, I get, get out of this is I get to give somebody something and I don't ever need to see anything in return, but I'm super happy because it's not, there's only room for one person to do this. Millions and millions of people have done what I've done in real estate, you know, or, you know, anything else, just setting goals early and getting towards your dreams. People are doing that. I'm not the only one. And there's more room at the table is what I'm hoping to convey. Um, you know, there's all my friends that are going for different dreams and goals it's super just neat to watch that. And I always try to reach out to them, right? And let them know that, hey, I, I see you. I, I see you passionate about something, passionate about a hobby, your job, anything. It's super neat. There's, there's a saying in a book saying, if you light yourself on fire, people will come watch you burn. And I think that's super, super true. And I love watching somebody going for it. Well, this is my it. This is what I like to do. You know, I'm not very good at a lot of things in life. There's very few things. I think that's a little nugget. I'll point out, I think leaders are very, very lopsided people. They stick to what they're good at and they avoid the other things. Whereas people, I think the misconception is that leaders are good at everything. I think that is very, very untrue. And I'd like you to think about that in your mind. Other thing I think, you know, from a growth standpoint is nature never stagnates, guys. You're either growing or you're dying. And I think it's super important to always continue to grow. And hopefully this is part of your financial education and that repertoire. You know, I don't need to affect everybody. I'm definitely not going to be for everybody. And that's totally fine. But I hope one way out there, whether I move you forward by explaining a technique of evaluating a property you know, a metric, how I look at things, et cetera, et cetera. Or if it's just a mindset thing, whether that's a positive mental attitude going forward or, hey, Nate's been through that too and he made it so I can make it. I hope so. I hope people are looking at me and going, I'm way better than this guy. I work way harder. I can do so much more. And I hope it ticks you off, you know. There's definitely an ego thing there where you need to get upset and get competitive and be like, I can do what this guy does. And I hope I'm doing that in some way. You know, there's, it, it's really funny to me, this, that people are reaching out to me now. I'm probably less engaged than I was two or three years ago when I know I did all the stuff that made this happen, right? And people are now seeing, it's not harvest time yet, but you know, I sowed all those seeds two or three years ago and now, the trees are blossoming, they're developing, it's not harvest yet, but people are going, Nate's, Nate's having some success over there. Uh, we gotta find out what's going on. 
but they didn't talk to me two or three years ago when I was actually doing it, right? And people won't see that. And if I can help you get through that period, that's the toughest period, that starting off period. Um, there's a motivational speaker and marketing genius named Gary V or Vaynerchuk. And he has something called a phrase that I really like and I think it's very appropriate. You need to eat shit for a while. And pardon my French or my language, but it's absolutely true. You know, if you watch my other videos, me sleeping on floors, no heat, no plumbing, eating shit. And that's when I made what I made. That's when I developed my real estate portfolio. That's when I learned, took my lumps. If I can help you through that period and let me let you know that I was there too and help you along, I am super happy to do that, guys. And that is my number one goal, is try to help you, meet you where you need me to be and explain something to the best of my ability. I am no way the end all be all. I think there's other great advice out there and I'm sure there are things out there that I do not know and I should know and adjust my approach. But I'm just gonna tell you what worked for me and what didn't work for me in hopes to move you forward. Thanks guys, cheers.